Hey babes, welcome to a new video. I hope you all are doing really well. This video is extremely requested and I'm extremely excited to be sitting down to film it for you guys, especially in time for Lululemon's Black Friday and Cyber Monday coming up. I am so excited for that too. I will absolutely be doing a full coverage of it on my Instagram stories. Anyways, it was pretty difficult, I'm not gonna lie, to pick my all-time favorite Lululemon pieces, but I feel like I did a pretty good job in narrowing it down to my top two to three from each. Each category. These are things that I'm always wearing yet are still available to purchase on their website. I would hate to mention something that you couldn't get yourselves. It's without saying that everything mentioned in this video is a favorite of mine because they've just held up really well over time. They wash well and in general I just haven't had any issues with them. Also as I always do everything will be listed in the description and my sizing is always there as a reference for you too. So without further ado let's jump into it. If you want to see 30 of my all time favorite Lululemon pieces, then just keep on watching. If you're new here and this is the first video of mine that you're watching, I do have a certain order that I like to do my hauls or like the style of videos. And I typically start with tops and then slowly move my way into bottoms. So I'm gonna start out with tank tops, move into short sleeve t-shirts, long sleeve sweatshirt jackets, and then finally get into shorts, leggings, joggers, and accessories and so forth. So starting out with, I'm starting with sports bras. My favorites in this category have definitely evolved over time, Lululemon has just been coming out with really amazing sports bras lately that are specifically made for those with larger cup sizes that are unique and not so like bulky. They're like very flattering, very minimalistic, which I am just loving. So the first one that I want to mention to you guys, this one came out a few months ago and it has been on rotation for me so much. I love this. I have this in a couple of colors now. This is the rib train bra and honestly, the straight straps with the square neckline and the ribbed material just get me. The material is in the Luxe Dream fabric and it is so good. I do not move around at all in this sports bra. It is a medium support sports bra but for me specifically, like I said, I don't move around at all. So one of my favorites for training or even for daily wear, this is actually what I was wearing the whole time that I was packing up and moving all of my stuff the last couple of weeks. And I love that the straps on this on the back are adjustable too. So you can definitely get your perfect fit out of this. All my sports bras, I get a size four and this is a size four as well. For my next two sports bras, I'm gonna cheat and I'm gonna combine this into one category because they're practically the same at least i'm gonna say that they're the same because they're the same name they just have like slightly different variations to them so both of these are the in alignment sports bra the first one is the in alignment racerback sports bra and then this one is the in alignment like straight strap sports bra you guys i have way too many favorites so i cheated a little bit to get my number to 30. <laughs> So the main differences between these ones is obviously besides the fact that one is racerback and the other one is a straight strap. The racerback one is made for those that are B and C cups and the straight strap is made for those that are C and D cups. However, both of them fit very comfortably for me being a D cup. The straight straps, just like the last sports bra I mentioned, is really great because it has adjustable straps, which is obviously great to adjust it to get your perfect fit, but it is pretty much just like a normal bra because it has a hook and eye closure on the back too, so really easy to get on and off. Both of these are designed for yoga, but I do train in these. I feel like they are super supportive. They cup really nicely. It's super comfy to wear, and that is why it's my favorite. Aside from the fact that it is Nulu fabric as well, so it's buttery soft, and you can see that these kind of have like a very slight molded cup look to them too. So I feel like these just really contour to my body really nicely. They are sweat wicking, quick drying, and overall staples that I feel like everyone must have a part of like their working out collection. So moving into tank tops, I do have three favorites from this category. I try to like switch it up to get like a wide array of different favorites. So I only chose one favorite when it comes to those that have built-in bras in it, and it is the Key to Balance tank top. This is 
so freaking good. It's really especially good for those that have a B cup or higher. This is made for B and C cups. This I actually went with my tank top size, which is a size two versus my sports bra size, which is a size four. This is really comfortable for me. I don't have to fuss with it. I love that it's high neck as well. Just having more coverage in the front just makes me personally just very comfortable for day to day. This is just one of those really easy day to day tops that I can wear when I don't want to bother with a bra. You know, I just put on one top. It's a two in one situation. You can wear joggers with this. You can wear leggings, anything. And you look so put together for the whole day. It's of course the gorgeous Nulu fabric too. I love the keyhole and the crisscross detail on the back. And I have to mention one of my favorite things about this, even with it being high neck, the sides, like where your side boob or your underarm, the fabric sits flat. I feel like some of these tops tend to bulge out a little bit and it doesn't sit flat. So really love that about this tank top. The next is the power through tank top. So this is one of my favorite tank tops, just like throw on over sports bras. It's stretchy, it's easy to get on. So it's no fuss there, but at the same time, it really contours to your body. It's a tight fit. It's sweat wicking, it's abrasion resistant fabric as well. So this is one of my go-tos for training, for hiking, any sort of outdoor activity. It's super lightweight and I love that the detail in the back, it's a little bit shorter in the back too. I really hope that they end up coming out with this in more colors because I would snatch them all up. The next tank top is the all yours cropped tank top. This is honestly the best for anything sort of tank top. I wore this all summer long, for instance, to go to the beach as a cover up when we were in Hawaii, just to like wear out and about for hiking, any sort of lounging casual day too. This is obviously really great to throw on when you're training like over sports bras and stuff, and then you can take it off if you get really hot. So yes, definitely great for anything sort of top. In these tops, I do end up sizing down and I get a size zero in these. These are naturally oversized. So just a quick note there. So for it to not be so oversized, I do end up sizing down. Obviously love the full coverage in the front. I love the crop length on it. And I like that the underarm area is like really low too. So definitely anything that you have on underneath this will be showing through either because the crop to short or through like the side holes as well. So that's why I feel like it's really great for bathing suits or to layer over sports bras as well. Now that I talked about the all yours at tank top, let's just move in to the short sleeve favorites of mine. So they are the all yours tees. So either the cropped version or the full length version as well, you honestly cannot go wrong with these. These are super easy daily wear tops that go with absolutely everything. They are a Pima cotton fabric. They are super soft. They're super lightweight. The cropped one is very similar to the tank top version. So for me, it hits at a good spot, but you might want to layer something underneath. Really just like a flowy effort top and that honestly goes for both of them too like even the original it has a really nice relaxed fit that hits you right at your hips so these just kind of give like an effortless look to any outfit these look super good with like leggings and joggers obviously but additionally I love wearing these with jeans to like tuck them in they don't cling to your body at all trust me you guys you should try these if you haven't already I have these in like 15 different colors just like the tank I do get these in a size zero so I size down from a size two but you you can also size up if you want to, if you want something like really oversized. So I like that there's a little bit of flexibility of how you might want to wear this. All right, let's get into my long sleeve t-shirt favorite. So the first one up is the hold tight ribbed long sleeve. I discovered this a couple of years ago and they actually just came out with it again this season as well. So definitely get your hands on this because this is my favorite basic long sleeve ribbed t-shirt that I own. It is phenomenal you guys where to start so it has this super soft modal fabric the rib is like mini rib it has like a semi-tight fit to it it is lightweight yet it keeps you like super warm the seam details on this are so cool too as far as the length on this it does sit at my hips and it has a curved hem detail but with this sort of top i love to tuck it in and it just stays in place and then i just get this in a size two as well but yeah this is a really good basic that's going to replace like all your long sleeve basics in your closet. Obviously really great for layering too. This LA mock neck long sleeve is a new favorite of mine. 
when did this come out at least over a month ago and it has been on my weekly rotation it is so good and what i love about it is that i can wear it more casually but i can also dress this up this is such a good item to dress up i love when i can find those lululemon pieces that i can dress up in so what to say about this top it is a cropped length obviously which you'll see it's supposed to fit tight overall so for this i did end up sizing down to a size zero because i wanted to not be able to wear a bra with it and it will hold everything in place for me and the reason being is you'll see the back of this it's like completely open back it has like this crescent cut out detail so it would be pretty hard to wear a bra with this sort of top hence the reason for me sizing down this detail is by far one of my favorite things about this top the fabric on this though is really soft really stretchy really easy to get on however it is like a slightly thicker fabric too so super great to not wear a bra because you can't see anything through it the mock neck is a perfect length too the sleeves are good size yes i cannot say enough good things about it and this black granite color oh the obsession i love it i have two half zips that i'm going to throw into the long sleeve category the first is the it's rulu half zip this is designed for running but i love to wear it for like my daily walks or like when i do errands it's just such an easy piece to throw on because it is the rulu fabric which is just really soft it's really similar to like nulu in a way it keeps you very warm it's really cute to throw like a vest over top of it to throw some leggings on and you got yourself a really cute outfit this is the semi-cropped version too so this one comes to about my natural waist obviously has little cutouts for your thumbs too this one i did stick with my normal size of a size two and it's just such a good piece the other one is the restless half zip pull over like the cropped version as well this one sits at exactly the same length as the last one does so right at like my natural waist which i feel like is a really good length even with high-waisted leggings you can't see your stomach at all everything about it is really similar to the it's rulu one except for the fact that this is a seamless construction so the fabric is slightly different it's obviously sweat wicking too like the last one but i just love the material and and the overall color and like look of this one it has like this diagonal pattern to it too this is like this silver drop color which oh, i don't know i think it's so gorgeous this one in particular i did have to size down to a size zero but this one is nice and thick too keeps you really cozy really warm and you just can't go wrong with half zips next category up is my favorite sweatshirts and hoodies so the first one up is the soft ambitions crew neck sweatshirts what a time when this was released because at that point they already released for like at least a year prior the soft ambitions shorts and other parts of the soft ambitions line which i think they're calling something else but anyways when they finally released like a matching sweatshirt to it oh i was all over it this is the best fabric if you've never tried it do yourself a favor and go feel it at the store it is incredible i have literally no way to describe this fabric at all it's just really soft and it has like this plushness yet like sleekness to it too what i love about it is that it is lightweight but it's not thin at all it has like a little bit of weight to it it's really comfortable i wore this a lot during the summer months but of course i can still continue to wear this in the winter months too i just have to like layer it up a little bit i sized down in this to a size zero it does have an oversized fit to it but I love the length of this. Oh, if Lululemon can just come out with all their sweatshirts in this length, I would be extremely happy. It hits you right at your hips where it's still easy to like do a little French tuck if you wanted to. The sleeves are a little long, but it kind of just fits with the overall vibe of the sweatshirts. The way that it just hangs on your body is really, really nice. Next up is the scuba half zip. I try not to be too basic and include this into my favorites, but it really is such a great sweatshirt. I can say what I want about the sizing and my opinions on it if you are new i would really prefer lululemon to come out with this in normal sizing of just individual sizes versus grouping them together that's just me being better and wanting this to fit me a little bit better however i won't let that take away from the fact that this is a really good sweatshirt the material is so fantastic it is a fleece interior, thank God, because I'm not a huge fan of like that cotton terry fabric that Lululemon tends to use for their sweatshirts. This has a really soft fleecy interior. It's going to keep you extremely warm, especially during these upcoming months. Really soft, really comfortable to wear for daily wear. The outside has kind of like this 
suede thick feeling to it that makes it so it doesn't peel at all obviously it love the half zip with the kangaroo pocket the sleeves with the little thumb holes through it but just the overall details of this yet again that's one of my favorite things about lululemon they have just like this half rib detail in the back the hood is really large and oversized so if there's one thing i would say about it is that the hood tends to like fall back a little bit so you have to like tug at the sweatshirt to like keep it forward this one i did get in a size extra small small one little hack that i did end up uh discovering with this i took a took a chance at ruining this to find the solution, but I did end up washing this and throwing it into the dryer to see if it would shrink a little bit and if it wouldn't ruin the sweatshirt. It did not ruin the sweatshirt and it did shrink. So this fits me a whole lot better now than what the original extra small small fit me. So at your own risk, I'll put a little disclaimer there to try to throw it in the dryer, but it did end up working out for me. It worked out for me in the half zip, but also the full zip as well. So this is another favorite of mine too. So the full zip, threw it in the dryer, ended up shrinking. This one does fit still a little bit more oversized than the half zip, and that's just naturally without like the whole dryer situation. This one is just like a little bit more boxy, I guess, but such a great sweatshirt. So everything about this is identical to the half zip, except for the fact that it is a full zip. So really good option for those that want a full zip, like regular sweatshirt. The length on this, again, is just really great. I love where it hits me, even with it being a full zip. It doesn't cover my butt, but then it's not tight around my hips. Like it's just a little bit more boxy and oversized. So I just really appreciate the size and look of this overall. Moving in to jackets and coats category next. First up, no surprises here at all. It is the Wonder Puff Shorty. Do I really need to say more about this? I've talked about this one so much. It's so good. It doesn't need any explanation at all. I have been hoping that this comes back in stock. It is by far one of the best Lululemon purchases ever. Do not wait on this at all. If it comes back in stock, grab it immediately. You will not be disappointed. You will not regret the purchase at all. I have this in a couple of colors now and it is just my go-to winter jacket. I love everything about it. Go ahead and watch all my other Lululemon videos as well. I go in depth about this one and especially comparing it to the Ritzia Super Puff jacket as well. This is so great. It holds up really well over time. Even my one from last year is still going strong. It looks like I just bought it yesterday and I've worn it to death. I really wear these every single day. While I'm on the Wonder Puff, I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of an honorable mention when it comes to the vest. Again, my sneaky way of throwing in another favorite. <laughs> it is identical to the Wonder Puff jackets, just in a vest form. Really good, everything about it. It has been a staple of mine for the last couple of years. Surprisingly goes with everything. The hood on both of these is removable too, depending on if you want it or not. Like what Whatever occasion you're wearing this jacket for. In both of these, I do go with a size zero. All my jackets at Lululemon, I always go with a size zero. Next jacket up is the Always Effortless jacket. This is a staple and a classic. It's the best lightweight jacket you could ever have in your wardrobe. This is a really good Christmas wish list item. And I mean, really everything in here is. <laughs> More about this jacket though, the material is really great. It's water resistant. It is lightweight, like I said, but it's not thin. It has like some weight to it, which is good. It has a cinchable hem on it too, which I really like because I can have it sit more snug against my hip. This jacket also has a hood, which I really like, and you can roll it up and hide it when you don't need it. There is so many pockets on this jacket too. It is just as good as everyone says it. It is it is amazing last jacket coat up is the insulated trench i shared this in i think my last lululemon haul video i did and it's just really quickly become one of my favorites i feel like it had mixed reviews with you guys but i love 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 this jacket i have been wearing it non-stop ever since i got it in both this color and in the black one as well it is very big right like it goes pretty much down to my calves and it just kind of fits like a blanket too but 
I just feel like it's so chic. It really looks good with any outfits that I've been pairing with it. You can dress it up, you can dress it down. It's gonna keep you really snug and warm just because it's covering so much of your body. It's like a puffer without all the seam lines to it. It has buttons to close it. It has a little belt to like wrap around too. I'm thoroughly impressed with this jacket this year. I got both of these in a size zero and honestly shocked that I found a jacket like this that I just love so much from them. All right, who's ready for bottoms? Cause I am, I have some really great favorite bottoms to share with you guys. Starting with shorts, I have two short favorites and these are the only two shorts you really need. <laughs> First up is the Soft Ambitions shorts. I have this in so many colors. This is the best elevated basic short out there. It's like a lounge short, but it has a trouser look to it. So that's why it's a little bit more elevated. It is the softest material in like a lounge short, but in a trouser form, like what? It doesn't get better than that. This obviously pairs it so well with anything in the Soft Ambitions line anything in general, but I love to make it the monochromatic look like I showed during the try on. I really cannot say enough good things about these shorts. They are absolutely everything to me. They have been on rotation for me two years in a row now. That's how long that these shorts have been out and I wear them daily in the spring and the summertime. They're just that comfortable and the inseam length is really great too. I think that these are four inch inseam. They sit high waist, love the jawstring detail and the pockets on this too. So really amazing short. Next up is of course the Align short. These need no explanation at all. If you know me, you know I love Align shorts. I have these in pretty much every single color that they've ever come out in. These are my favorite ride or die shorts for literally everything in my life. I work out in these, train in them, yes. Do yoga in them. I pair them casually with like oversized shirts for streetwear, athleisure looks. I lounge in them. I travel in them like anything and everything I do with these shorts. This is also the six inch inseam, which is the best inseam length, at least for me being 5'1". So yeah, probably my top three Lululemon item ever in history. This is something that I feel like everybody should own. So if you're shopping for a girl on your Christmas list, get her one of these, especially just in like black, a good staple color, and she will be very happy. All right, so heading into leggings next, and I have three pairs to share with you. These, in my opinion, are the th only three leggings that you'll need, really, just hear me out. First up is the classic Align pants. All of these are in the 25 inch inseam, which for me hits pretty much full length. It hits right at my ankle. These are hands down the best for everyday wear. They are built for yoga, so if you do yoga, Pilates, or anything like that, obviously great for those types of workouts. I do train in these and they work perfectly for me, but they are a more delicate fabric. So just be mindful of that if you are wanting to train with these, but honestly great for literally any occasion that you wanna wear leggings for. If you wanna hike in them, go for it. If you wanna wear them just daily, lounging around your house. If you wanna run errands in them, great. Also pair the black ones with boots and like a tunic or just something and dress it up a little bit. That's always an option. So yeah, really soft, buttery fabric. Everything that you've ever heard about Aligns really holds true to the name. They are really lightweight, really buttery soft and kind of just overall an industry standard that people are striving to meet. These are so good. The Wonder Train tight is another one of my favorites. These are really, really great for hiking, training, any of your like more intense workouts, yet the fabric is really similar to Align's and the fact that they are really soft, really comfortable to wear, yet they are a thicker, more durable material that's meant for like those more intense workouts. They are really supportive too. They offer more compression to them to Align's. They sit high-waisted. The seams on the butt of this one is a straight line versus the lines being a V. And then otherwise, for sizing on these, I do go with my normal legging size, which is size two. I do that in these two, but these ones you could perhaps get away with sizing up in because they are a little bit tighter and more compressive, like I said. And something that's kind of in the middle between the lines and the Wonder Trains for me, these ones just launched in September or October, and they have quickly become one of my favorites. The best way that I can describe these leggings is that they are like a lines, just thicker. Doesn't mean that they're double lined because they're not double lined, they're just a thicker material. So these have just been my go-tos now that the temperature is dropping. These work really 
really well for like the colder, not necessarily freezing, but colder weather. I also feel like they're a little bit more durable too because of the thickness to it. So I'm gonna place these right in the middle between a lines and wonder trains. I also really like the seaming details on this. It's nothing I've ever seen before. It has a crescent seam in the front with some other like seaming details. You can see like the top of it kind of V's down a little bit. And then the back of it has that same crescent seam detail, but these make your butt look so good. I didn't think it was possible to make your butt look better than what it, your butt looks like in a lines, but these I love so much. So if you haven't tried this new fabric and this new style, from Lululemon the instills definitely try them Lululemon always has free shipping and free returns if you order online or if you want to go in store and try them on and feel them go for it this is another one of those situations that you won't regret them the last of the clothing items is joggers I have three joggers to share with you the first is the align joggers I mean they are identical to aligns they're just in a jogger form so for those days that I don't want to wear a legging but I still want to wear aligns I gravitate more towards the joggers because it is a a little bit of like a looser fit, especially throughout the calves. They're high-waisted, they have two pockets in the front too, and I think that they're about a 28 inch inseam. They sit pretty much full length, like right at the end of my ankles. They go with absolutely everything, and it's like the best fitting jogger ever. They really just can't be beat. I'm gonna go ahead and throw the scuba joggers into this as well. This looks so good, obviously paired with the scuba sweatshirts. This is the high-rise scuba joggers. The sizing on this can be interesting. I am kind of like between sizes of a size zero and a size two. However, I prefer how the size zero looks like on me. They are a little bit of a tighter fit on me personally, but you can definitely size up if you want them to be more loose overall. Everything that I said about the scuba holds true for the joggers as well. It is a nice like fleeced material in the inside, super thick, really warm. The fabric holds up well over time too. There's no pilling that I've experienced with these. They do end up stretching out a little bit, so that's another reason why I opt for a zero, but after a Washing, they shrink back to the sizing it was before. So if you're looking for a nicer pair of sweatpants that make you look more put together than the standard sweatpants, I mean, I love my bum sweatpants, but sometimes I wanna look a little bit more put together with a sweatsuit, then I usually opt for my Lululemon set. The last item up is the ribbed jogger. So this one is pretty much identical to the scuba jogger. The only main difference that I can say between these is that this one has way more room throughout the hips and the thighs than the scuba one does. I feel like the scuba joggers fit a little bit more like slim fits throughout that area versus this one. So if you need a little bit more room throughout your hips and your thighs, I would look at these bad boys. These are super cozy for lounging. They're seven eighths length, so pretty much full length on me personally. This lighter color can be a little bit see-through. Not that they are see-through, but it's just you can see like the outline, especially if you're wearing like black underwear with this. So I would just opt for wearing a skin colored underwear when you're wearing these. They're not thin either, which I really appreciate. So love these. All right, so I'm gonna share my top five accessory items with you. And this is pretty much just accessories, meaning anything that's not a clothing item. So my first item being the uplifting scrunchie. I don't even know what to say about this besides the fact that I use it every single day. Every day, there is not one day that I do not wear the scrunchie. I have it in multiple colors, but I personally just prefer the black one. I wear this to go to sleep in. I wear it throughout the day when I don't want my hair in my face. I use it going hiking. There's just no occasion that I don't use this scrunchie for. It is a scrunchie that doesn't necessarily hold your hair like super tight. It can if you twist it enough times. So I do that sometimes, but otherwise I like that it is not pulling my hair too tight of a scrunchie. So really like this. Next item up is of course the belt bags. So this black one I've had for what, three years or so now. And then the Sherpa one just came out a couple of weeks ago. I have been alternating between this ivory one and the black one as of late. So this one is been retired for now until next summer when I start to go hiking a little bit more. The Sherpa is just so perfect for the winter time. I love it. So these belt bags by far is like my top recommendation for Lululemon at a very affordable price point. It is the best gift idea. Everybody needs a belt bag. It's used for every single occasion. I mean, this right now is my daily purse. You know what I mean? But I love to use these hiking to throw 
in my airport bag, like whatever your occasion is, these are perfect for. It's just my most versatile piece and it fits way more than you think it does as well. Obviously the straps on these are very adjustable so I can wear around my waist like when I'm hiking as a traditional fanny pack or I typically wear it cross body and it fits perfectly too. The belt buckles are really smooth and easy. It has a pocket in the back that fits my iPhone. What do I have now? iPhone 13 Pro perfectly. I don't think that it would fit the Max. And then it has a very smooth zipper that opens up and it has two mesh pockets well, three technically mesh pockets on the inside with a big open compartment as well. As far as my favorite bags go, my first one is this. I think that this is the crew backpack, but again, I'll list the, the exact name down below. This one I've been preferring a lot more than this other one that I'll put on the screen. The name is escaping me at the moment, but this one is just a larger capacity. It holds a lot more and it has like a little bit more structure in it too, which I really like. So it has a pocket in the back to fit your laptops. I can fit two laptops in here perfectly fine if anyone needs to fit more than one laptop in here. I like that this has a pocket in the front down here. It has two pockets on the side to hold like a water bottle or anything like that. And then it has a huge compartment in the inside too to hold just anything extra that you want to throw in. Any clothing. It has two pockets in here too. This was my overnight bag like that I would take over to Juan's house before we started living together and it would fit everything that I needed in here perfectly and then when I start going back to the office this is going to be my office bag too. If there was anything that I was bringing over to Juan's that didn't fit in the backpack I would throw it in to this bag which is the side cinched shopper bag or if I I don't know if I was just carrying anything extra that I wanted to carry with me. This was just such an easy tote to throw all those miscellaneous items into here. It's a really large bag. It holds a ton. It cinches on the sides too. So you can cinch it in to have a little bit more of a cinch look or you can loosen it up for it to fit more items. It actually has a pocket in here, which is cool. And it has a button closure on it, but it's just a really lightweight, easy tote bag. It has a very durable fabric to it. It's lined in the interior, but it's a really inexpensive bag. A really great versatile piece that I feel like anybody kind of really needs. And last item up is a yoga mat. I feel like I mentioned this last year when I was doing a gift guide too, but you really cannot go wrong with the yoga mats. This is the best yoga mat I've ever owned. I've been using it consistently the last couple of years, the entire time that we were in lockdown and ever since then for all of my workouts and my training. So it's definitely held up over time. I like that it is thicker. This is like the five millimeter one. So it provides really good protection when I'm training for like my knees, my elbows, my wrists, like whatever needs protection, you know, when you're working out. It's surprisingly easy to clean as well. And then I just got a strap to carry it or for like storage too, but this is a really great gift item. I feel like no one really wants to buy themselves a yoga mat, but everyone loves to have a yoga mat, you know? Oh, we've made it to the end. That is all of my 30-ish favorite items from Lululemon. If you guys have made it to the end, you are a real one. Go leave me a little red heart down below letting me know that you've made it to the end. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure that you're giving it a thumbs up. Let me know down below what items are your favorites. I would love to know. Before you go, please make sure that you are subscribed. I am almost to 20K. Ah, I cannot believe it. It is my goal to be there by the end of the year. So let's see if we even get there. Go give me a follow over on Instagram too if you are not already. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in a couple of days in my next video. Bye guys. I love you so much. Mm -hmm.